Derek Dumas here. Uh, took a little hiatus for a little while. Um, started messing around with Blender and doing different things. Um, then I decided to come back into the environment thing. Um, noticed that I had a couple unfinished tutorials, uh, specifically the ones that showed with outdoors. And those would work great if you're going to go ahead and you're going to import it into the Unreal Engine. Um, I downloaded the Unreal Engine as well. It is a great engine. I do think it blows Unity away coming to with graphics and just the feel it, it has polished gameplay right off the bat when you go ahead and play test it and even export it whereas unity you got to go ahead do a little more scripting i mean unity is the younger version or the younger uh baby <laughs> basically of engines but it's growing up quick however when you're looking at the the, the off part with the the unreal engine is um I mean, they, they went ahead, they did the same thing as Unity, which isn't an off part, asset store wise, except they, instead of the asset store, it's called the marketplace. And the stuff that they give you for free is just incredible. I mean, you can make whole environments in a matter of minutes. Um, but again, I mean, you need to have a whole team of people. It's that powerful. And something like this, to bring it into Unity and just do a whole entire city just like this, you're going to run into a lot of a lot of problems um, with geometry and things like that so making an indoor scene um, is like how I showed you yeah it's great but now since unity has updated itself anything that doesn't have a back face the sunlight goes through it so you gotta make things double faced anyways now if you're doing an outdoor environment something like this you this is great for you know just one area but if you're making a city which we're gonna go into today um, using SketchUp, of course. You're going to have to go ahead and, well, first let's get rid of Stanley. You're going to have to make puzzle pieces, um, ultimately. And that's what we're going to do. So R for rectangle, and we're doing 2 by 2 And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to make a line going along the green axis. There we go. And T for tape, we're going to go, okay, so we're at two, and then we're going to go another two, and then another two along the green axis, and then another two, and then another two, and let's make a rectangle again. Two by two. And one, two, and then we're going to need another one. Another two by two. And I seriously think that should be good for right now. Um, now, what we're doing here is we're now going up, I want to say, point three. All right, and then point one five. Okay, so we got that, and you know you can always tweak with whatever later. So now what we're gonna do is one, we're gonna keep blank. Two, we're going to do a rectangle. Three, we're going to do another rectangle like this. Um, pop out leave it for edge capture and yep along the green axis another tape we're going to do another two and then another two and then another two and this is the most tedious part but this is going to set you up later for basically making um, well a building so to speak and two by two, and two by two. Okay, cool. So all those other buildings and stuff that I was showing you before, discard that. However, you know what? You probably gain some knowledge in the meantime as to go ahead and build other things. Now what gave me this idea was I saw something else somebody else did um, online to put cities together and I said that is ingenious I'm like I, why didn't I think of that I'm like you know the Elder Scrolls did it in their engine um, 
and basically for indoor environments and outdoor and these can be used for indoor and outdoor and I'm going to show you how so now what we're going to do is we're going to go right here right click uh, make component 2x2 brick make component 2x2 um, we'll call it a slab um, 2x2 slab open create and the reason why it's going to be open double click that so you activate your component P and we're going to come out by point 0.1 and right here by open this is what I mean by open okay and next one right click make component 2 x2 brick closed create P come out same thing all you have to do is just double click and these are going to be closed off. Double click our right. Yep. Make component. 2x2 brick. Uh, brick. P. Brick. Um, left. component 2x2 brick right and by left and right what I mean is P for push and pull double click one one E for eraser and get rid of this and same thing over here you can get rid of this side And these are basically just going to be the starting. And, you know, we can do a doorway, too. What the hell? We'll do a doorway. Um, just something quick to show what we can do. And then um, we'll put the ground in as well. Might as well do that as well. So this one is the left one. P, double click, double click. I'm going to leave that open. And uh, E for eraser, get rid of that. Get rid of this. And that's open and you'll see why later. So left, right, closed, open, and now let's color these things. So B for bucket, I'm already underneath brick and cladding. We're just going to use the regular, um, the regular old uh, SketchUp. So same with that stucco white cladding that actually looks pretty good I'll keep that and because it's open we don't have to do the sides same thing with this double click B press alt grab it from the last one alt shift so it does whatever's left over um, and wow these are all gray so we're going to have to go like this right click reverse uh, uh, faces but we can't because we gotta do that control A reverse faces there we go um, crap probably should have checked for that in the beginning huh same with this one yeah of course it is alright double click on it uh, control A for all right click reverse faces B for bucket, take that. There. That one's white. Crap. And this is something that, you know, this is such a rookie mistake. This is kind of embarrassing. Um, there. I mean, at least we didn't get too far into it. Yeah, we got halfway. What am I kidding? Double-click, right-click, reverse faces, Control-A, right-click, reverse faces. Now click this, and then reverse.
reverse these faces. B for bucket. Okay. And double click, control A, reverse faces. Double click, control A, reverse faces. Jeez. So if you were already doing this and you're going through this, now I mean, hey, you're learning a great thing to check your faces before you do anything. All right, let's go back and we'll do this quick. B for bucket, cover that one up. Double click on this one. B for bucket. Cover this up. Um, stucco cladding. There we go. Next, double click. B for bucket. Stucco cladding. Actually, let's do this. Because um, there's only two here. So Alt, grab it from that. Put it on this one, this one. Alt, grab this one. And anything that is that becomes this. On to the next one. And the reason why we're alting it and taking it from here and then bringing it over from the last one is so they all match up. Because where this one ends, this one's going to begin. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Double click on this. B for bucket. Take the brick. Put it here. Put it there. Take the brick there. Put it there. Put it there. It doesn't matter. Shift. Cover up all of them. Whatever's remaining. Go into the next one. Double click on this component. B for bucket and shift and that was relatively painless after we got it all set up so now we gotta go ahead um, and control A control C and we're going to make a small door as well T for tape and we're going over another two and we're drawing a rectangle from here and it is two by two and we are going to click this and reverse the faces oh look at that that was nice and T for tape we're gonna come over to about well half a two is one so this is one meter here so let's bring this out by 0.45 so 0.45 and then from here 0.45 and I'm not too sure what this is going to look like in Unity just yet. But we're coming up by 0 0.69. So we'll do 0 0.8. That looks good. R for rectangle. We're just going to do this real quick. Real painless. Um, Let's give this a small offset, F for offset, on edge. Oop, control Z. And that's 0 .04. That looks good. Point zero four. enter. And we are going to extrude just this part right here and that's gonna come out uh, we'll do point one. Oh, yeah no and we'll go down point zero nine there so instead of point one it should have been zero point one or point zero one I mean alright so now we have the back. Uh, this is going to come in. Point three. Alright, that's good for now. And then once again, um, B for bucket. Do that. And yeah. Everything else can just be blank. Cool. So now that we have that, mm, point one. All right, so L for line, um, P 
P, we're going to bring this on face once again. L for line. Yeah, I know I'm a pain in the butt. All right, there we go. And same thing for this one. And this is going to come out by 0.1. And we can scrap this part right here. But same thing with this. And I believe this was 0.1, right? Yep, 0.1 meters. And E for erase. Just that part. And just this part. Okay. So now we have the basic setup of our building. You could do windows too. Um, we're not going to do windows, but I just want to show you so you get a basic idea. And after this, I mean, this is our 2x2 two two setup. And then we'll have like a 4x4 four four setup and a 6x6 six six setup. And let's do some ground too. Um, R for rectangle. T for tape first off. Let's start from here. Let's go to point two and then point four. And we're just going to go on the ground here. And we're just going to set all this up. All right. So now that we have all that set up, um, we're going to come this way by one meter. And rectangle two comma two. Same thing. Reverse the faces. Um, and this will be I don't know, some sort of stone I guess. Just so you get the basic idea. We'll do masonry tile. there, And that definitely needs to be resized. So there we go. Gravel looks good. So now we got this. Um, the building. We're going to need some sort of sidewalk looking thing. Um, T for tape. Come out. Uh, 0.4. 0.4. L for line. Go down here. Same thing with this. Go down here. Oop. Control Z. L for line. Obviously, I didn't catch it at the intersection. Oh, that's why. Okay. So this is going to come up by uh, 0 0.03 is good. And double click on this. And then we'll just use the stone gray, the stone vein gray do that. Um, come on. Damn it. And that's one. Um, make We can make some that are curved later, but, you know, we're not going to do that right now. And do the same thing over here. We started off at point one. It's the same thing. So I believe this would be 2 by 2. No, it's 1.6 by 2. So 2 comma 2. Um, this one, actually, P for push and pull. This is going to come down to here. Let's erase this. We're going to keep that just like that. And we're going to do the same thing over here, R for rectangle. And two comma two, both of these right uh, sh holding shift and then right click, reverse faces, and then B for bucket. Take this, put it there, and this one instead is going to be B for bucket. Um, just that. Just for now. And now we got to make these components. I believe that component, 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 that's a component. This is a component. That is not a component. Alright. Uh, 
edit, we are done with our guides. Delete guides. And if not, they're pretty simple just to make again. Right click, make component, um, door. Way. Okay, so right click, um, make component, side W R D sidewalk with road. Okay, create make component uh, road. And finally right click make component um, side. So these are all gray, these are all gray. Oh, come on. B for bucket. We've got the default crud here. Um, just some final cleaning up to do. B for bucket. Take that to the brick. All right. Now we really don't need any rhyme or reason for these. Um, now we have it pretty well set up. So open up Unity. Mm. Do export whatever that was in. Involved in that compiling scripts. And while this is exporting, we'll go ahead, file, export, 3D model, desktop, mm, setup, and export. Now these are just the sides and the ground. Um, we can do the top too, and I'll show you how to do the top. It's really simple, actually, um, to enclose a, a building. Um, in fact, why don't we do that right now? Another two by two, two. Yeah, we'll hold off on that. We'll go ahead and I'll show you how to basically make puzzle pieces and stuff like that with this. Okay. Um. So we got that. And honestly, this isn't going to fit. That no fly. -y. It's got to come out by point. That's point one. This has got to be basically as thick. All right, so the door is going to need some tweaking. In fact, double click on that. Get get rid of this. Get just get rid of it. That's the best thing you can do. Just just get get rid of it. Get rid of it right away. Goodbye. 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 Because I'm looking forward into the future a little bit, and I'm seeing nothing but pain in my ass. P for push and pull. Let's bring this out by uh, 0.5 and we'll bring this out by 0 0.1. 0 0.01. So 0 0.01, 0 0.5, and then 0.1, or 0 0.05, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, and then just 0 0.1 over here. That'll give it some sort of look to it. And it won't make it look all funky and whatnot. Alright, so this is basically going to be a filler. So now we'll do that again. File, export, 3D model, uh, new folder, setup.dae, export, yes, replace all. Um, FBX converter, I still use 2013. And then file. SketchUp, uh, no, where is it, it's 
probably simpler just to open it here. It's been a little while, and this is loaded in. We're going to delete essentially everything. Standard assets, delete, yes. Alright, and what is this? This is test. So that is the only thing left in this. So create new folder. Um, city, underneath city. Uh, create new folder. And assets, city, brick, build. And underneath that, then you're going to have these things that you can go ahead and just mess around with. But anyways, um, let's get this game up here. Push this into my scene. I want my hierarchy down here. I want my project file over here. And my inspector next to my project file. And then this will give me... Okay, lighting collision and all that other crap. I don't need that just yet. Alright, so back to this. Um, bringing this down. Where is test? Oh, new folder. Setup.dae. And once again, embed media, convert. Not bad. 153 kilobytes. It's actually really not bad. And now we have our FBX file. Um, I'm going to throw that right into Unity underneath brick build. And it looks like it all came out pretty well, actually. Um, architecture. And underneath brick build. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open this up. Wait, what the... Oh, god damn it. There. Close out of this. Alright, generate colliders. It's been a while since I used this. Yeah, no, that's fine. Everything else is good. Good. Apply. Alright, so now we're dragging setup into here. Now that we have that, I'm just going to double click on this component, and I'm going to say Control C, Control V, and now I can go ahead and attach this here. Um, what else can we do with this? Double click on this, Control C, no, I just want this. Let's see what's in setup. So it's one, five. Same thing with this. Control C, Control V. Oh look, they attach. And if you lock them, if you put it so that it's a grid locked, it works just as well. Same thing with this. Click, click, Control C, Control V. And we're going to bring this right up to the edge. Come back to this one. Oop, Control Z. Well, you get the basic idea. this, yes, continue, delete this, yes, continue, control C, control V, and we're going to move this one down here, so now we have basically made an area to go ahead and make our city out of, um, but instead of doing that, let's do this, 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 this. Move this up. And we're going to move this one over. This one over. And go back to these right here. And I'm going to bring this down. Actually, we'll just go with this right here. This was the, okay, so this is the one with the side caps on it, and I believe this one is the one without the side caps. So 
So no side caps here. Um, let's bring over the one that extrudes to the left. This is the one that we want. So that, control C, control V, bringing that all the way down here. We're going to rotate it. Um, oh, control Z. I believe 90 degrees. 180 will be okay so 45 degrees and another 45 will be 90 180 oh Jesus that's why 90 degrees no nope. 45 degrees no nope. whatever's the closest to this Oh, negative 90, burr, 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 because we're working with negatives here. So minus 90. Again, it's been a little while since I used the Unity engine. I've been playing with the Unreal engine. All right, there we go. Uh, get this right here, the whole freaking thing. Um, w to move it, and we're going to move this forward. Okay, so that really doesn't work. But it is close enough. So we got building here. These two can go up here and over. And you get the basic idea of it. Or if you want, you could put one of those over there. Um, if you wanted something that went all the way around the side of the building. You could do something like uh, Control C, Control V, um, rotation 90, and that would bring this. Oh, I don't know why that's all the way back there. But all right, um, same thing. Then this just comes over. Much better. Shift in the uh, space does that, by the way. Okay. And that's basically it. But you get the basic idea. And then this will just connect with the other thing. Um, but you have the basic idea as to, to how to do it now. So same thing. Control C, Control V. Um, put another side to this road here. Control C, Control V, bring that over here. Oh, well, nope, that didn't work. Red over, blue up. Get it basically at the same size here. go and we are going to rotate this why is this all shitty there we go we're going to rotate this um, on the blue axis which is z the z axis um i believe 180 yep i was right for once all right um w bring this out So now you get the basic idea how to do it. Um, control C, Control V. You know, again, if you enable the grid locking, it makes it a lot easier. But you can go ahead, and then you can add windows in. You can do pretty much what you want, but you've just made the puzzle pieces. Let's add a light to this. Let's see how it looks. Game. Um, light. Directional light. Yeah. Not bad.
then again, you know, this is just the basis of it. You can make this as detailed as you want. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're also going to add in game object. I'm sorry, assets, import package, um, characters. Yeah, import it all. Whatever. Uh, let's go back into this. File, save as, underneath, desktop, new folder. Because the next tutorial will go off this one. New folder, setup, untitled, brick. Because again, we're going to get more detailed into this part here, here. These are just basic things. I mean, we're going to make this very detailed and hopefully make this look very detailed as well. Okay, so project file, first person controller. Um, I think they put it underneath, yeah. Prefabs. Let's see how this looks for right now. Okay. Play. Okay. Alright, so this needs to come over to the edge a little bit more. But you get the basic idea. Oh, and I'm falling into infinity. You know, and again, um, here, let's delete this one. And let's delete this. As for these, I believe these can come over a little bit. Okay. And this one can definitely come over. that these are, oh, same thing, this can come up. Mm, control Z, do this, 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 and we're going to bring this up just a little bit. Okay, and now same thing. Um, we're going to move this guy out of the way. Anything behind it? Nope. Okay. Um, control C, Control V. Okay. So you get the basic idea. But yeah, that's basically what we do, and then we'll uh, we'll be going over it more and more as to make this more detailed and make roofs. So do this, play with it for a little while, add in your door. Oh yeah, let's see how the doorway looks. It looks like garbage. Alright, cool. Um, let's see how it looks with this though. Delete that back here. Delete this. Oh yeah, we were supposed to do something with this too. Here, I'll give you a quick run through. So this right here, what I was trying to say, um, so we're not done. The reason why we did this right here is because if you're going to do two edges, this would come together smoothly like that. And you wouldn't be able to really tell. Um, still needs to be perfect. So again, add on the grid locking options. I don't like using grid locking options because I'm just a schmuck like that. But yeah, so you get the basic idea, and you can go ahead from there. We'll go ahead, we'll take this, and we'll push it right up against here. And there you go. So you get the basic idea of it, and how it works. So now you got, you know, this building-looking thing, and it went perfectly in between those other two. So there's not really going to be having any collision problems, so to speak. Um, And you know what? Let's do this. Control C, Control V. Uh, where are we? Where is?
is my hierarchy. Oh crap. Floor prototype. Four one. Where the hell is this? Let's delete that. I don't know why that was even in there. Probably caused some problems. Alright, control C, control V. What the hell is going on here? So, control C, control V. Copy. Duplicate. There we go. And that will go underneath here. So, I again, I mean, I'm, I know I'm recording and babbling, but it's just, it's kind of fun to mess with all this stuff, you know? And again, you know, play with it however you want to. Um, we'll do this like that over there. Not that it's really going to matter, but... Okay, cool. It's not going through the bottom. It's really not going to matter over here, but at least we have something behind there. Oop, what's that doing there? take this whole thing and this whole thing goes over here um, you know what let's delete these two and we're going to There we go. Right click, duplicate. Same thing. Put it there. Oop, missed these two. And right click, duplicate. But now, you know, you get the basic idea. Again, I can't emphasize how much a grid would help. Um, but I am picky, and these little flaws give me ideas like, oh, okay, what can I put there? But that's just, you know. That's what I do. Okay, cool. So the door needs to be bigger, obviously. So a 2x2 two two is good for small details. So a 4x4 four four would probably be a lot better to work with. But these are the things that you get the ideas of working, working with. Um, you get the basic ideas. But yeah, so that's the tutorial, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave comments or whatever, or, you know, just control. Do what you do. Alright, take care guys.